Hey guys, it is I, Maggie Elram, Witch and Moon, and I wanted to make a short video for you. I've been thinking a lot about newbie witches and, you know, baby witches, whatever you want to call them, whatever they want to call themselves. I've been practicing witchcraft for 15 years. I'll be 29 this year. Well, more than uh, 15 years, actually. I was, I think I was like 12 or so whenever I started to get into witchcraft and Wicca and all that kind of stuff. But I really wanted to make a video for some beginner witches. And know that this video is aimed at people who are just starting out and trying to find their path and isn't necessarily aimed towards those of us who have been practicing for quite a while. Although you may enjoy watching it and uh, listening to this information. But I wanted to talk about labels and I've noticed lately that it is super popular for people to like label their type of witchcraft, almost like a brand, like earth witches or green witches or hedge witches or uh, sea witches or, you know, all these different kinds of witches that are out there right now. This definitely makes it easy whenever you're having conversation with another witch to kind of sum up what it is that you're interested in and what it is that your practice is like if you're, you know, in conversation with another witchcraft practitioner. It is really easy, you know, I might say, hey, I'm really, I'm more of a trad witch. And that is very vast generalization whenever it comes to, uh, my particular practice because yeah like my craft might lean more towards traditional witchcraft but it's so much more than that like I said in conversation with people and to present it to others that's kind of the easiest way to put a label on myself but I think that sometimes people who are new to the craft can get confused by these labels so I wanted to clear up something that kind of bothers me a little bit and that's when I get new people that come to me and ask me, you know, how do I find out what kind of witch I am? You know, I'm really interested in starting witchcraft and I just really want to figure out what kind of witch I am. You know, you're a traditional witch, this person over here is a green witch, you know, what, what am I? Like, how do I find that out? And you see how all of a sudden it becomes something different, it seems like, than just summing up our practice in a label. Somehow people see these labels, especially people that are new to the craft, and they think that there is some like magical way to like figure out, you know, what kind of witch they are. And I think that is a really big like misconception. To all of you who are just starting out, it took me a long time to get to where I am right now in my path. And along the way, like I called myself a lot of different things along the way. You don't have to have a label for yourself. It's really unnecessary. Um, and one of the things that I like to say the most is that I'm just a witch. I'm a witch, I practice witchcraft. Whatever it might look like that day, you know, I'm just a witch. I just wanted to let you guys know that you don't have to have this label for yourself before you start practicing. You know, you don't have to have this like identity, like this witch sona before you even begin in. And while I think that is something that's really fun and it, like I said, it makes it easy to talk to other practitioners or even if you're explaining, you know, trying to explain your practice to a non-practitioner, then, you know, it can be helpful to have these types of words and labels to use, but it is entirely unnecessary to your practice whatsoever. And, you know, if you ascribe to a certain brand of witchcraft, that's great. That is totally great. And I'm not, like I said, I don't have a problem with that. I just want the beginners to realize that that is not necessary. You know, a lot of times you find out who you are while you're on your journey. And that is something that is continuously going to evolve forever, hopefully. Because I feel like, I feel like witchcraft, the practice of witchcraft and a lot of the spirituality that surrounds that should be like an ever-changing, evolving practice. Because I mean, yes, you can do things the same way your entire life. Truly, I feel that this a lot of times is a path to self-discovery. And if your practice isn't evolving and changing, then you're probably not evolving and changing. And that's kind of the point. You know, we all want to move on and become better and, you know, really find ourselves and who we are and how we feel, feel about our spirituality and how we feel comfortable about ourselves. And so while labels might be easy, just to speak in passing, there's something that will always change and will always be different. We can always call ourselves something different. And that's okay. 
that's totally fine. If you find that your interests are shifting to a different type of path, that's totally fine. You know, you don't have to like cling really hard to this label that you've invented for yourself just for the sake of, you know, continuity. You can change and let your path evolve. Anyways, I hope uh, you enjoyed this. I hope if you're new to witchcraft or Wicca or anything like that, that this was helpful for helpful for you. I hope that you find a lot of information on your journey and you read a shitload of books and I hope you all have a wonderful day.